Jones there. Come here from Washington for Major Graham. Advance and be identified. And for Lieutenant Martin at the next post. He'll take you to see Major Graham. Credentials are certainly in order, Mr. Murdoch. Thank you, Major Graham. And as I was saying, I think Captain Clark may be able to help me. Will it be necessary for me to send Clark to Washington? On the contrary, Major. That's exactly what I want to avoid. Captain Clark reporting, sir. Well, Captain Steve Clark, this is Mr. Murdoch, one of our Washington agents. How do you do? How do you do, Captain? I'm here to ask you a question about your old West Point classmate, Captain Randall. Clay Randall? Why, he's a Confederate, you know. And a spy in a Washington group that I hope to capture through him. Oh? Is he in Washington? I saw him there, yesterday. Well, I was lucky. Yeah, and then some. But what made you suspicious? Randolph can't be in two places at once. Our service reported him in San Francisco last week. Major Graham? Oh, just a minute, please, Lieutenant Martin. Guard, no one is to enter this tent. From the President to you, Major Graham. A special courier just arrived. Oh, thank you. Bring a detail for the body. No identification. Well, that doesn't surprise me. That man was smart. Those credentials are such good forgeries, they might as well be genuine. Well, look here, Steve. Confederate spies know about that letter, and they sent Murdoch to kill you. Yes, but I didn't realize they were that well organized. Well, neither did I, Steve. And offhand, I'd say that your job will include finding out about that organization. Thank you, Major Bell. I thought that would please you, Mr. Fessenden. Yes, and I think it'll please Mr. Stanton. You are speaking of Ora Grande. Here's part of your answer. Captain Steve Clark, eh? We call for special duty. He's the best man I have in the Secret Service. He must be. From what it says here, the President had to intervene to get him back for you. Our enemies are already trying to stop him. Is he going directly to Ora Grande? No, but as soon as possible after I see him. Conditions there are worse then. Much worse. You certainly are a busy girl, Kathy. Wells Fargo knew what they were doing when they let you take your daddy's place. Thanks, Dan. I only hope I can run things as efficiently as he did. Is Colonel Sewell in? He's expecting you. Oh, thanks. Sergeant reports everything's going as you planned it, sir. Well, that news is worth waiting for. Dismissed. There's a wire for Washington. Yes. Kathy. What do you want, Dr. Blair? Could you take these powders over to Mrs. Carmody? Say, who am I working for? You or Wells Fargo? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, I have an emergency case here and I can't leave. Mm -hmm. Washington's waiting, Colonel. I'll leave as soon as the west bound's on its way. Thanks, Kathy. I can depend on you just like I could your dad. Jeff! Hello, Miss Kathy. Do me a favor, will you? It's me thinking you wanted to spend the time of day. What is it, Kathy? Tell Bill I want him. He's in the Golden Eagle. Sure thing. Thanks, Jeff. And no matter what anybody says, Kathy's father was killed to keep him from telling what he'd found out. Now, I was helping him then at Wells Fargo, just like I'm helping his daughter now. And I ought to know. Miss Kathy wants you, Bill. Oh, thanks, Jeff, thanks. And don't you fellas believe all you hear. Jeff. Hello, Braddock. Colonel Sewell just got a report. 
I'll double the raise. Hank. I'm buying for the boys. Thanks. Thanks. You're best. Ask for an official confirmation as soon as you finish sending it. Yes, sir. Sewell is using the same code as before. I won't have any trouble with it. All ready, Kathy. Keep an eye on that lead horse. He's just in from the range. Let her roll. Get up! Get up! Stop. You and me take a ride, Jeff. Might as well. Nothing else to do. I'll be back as soon as I can. You know, Mrs. Comedy likes visitors almost as much as she does medicine, Kathy. I know, but it's a long ride, and I'm not visiting today. <laughs> begun to think it was some sort of a slip-up. No chance, Captain Randolph. Not with Morell's outfit feeding his information like this. Is it time enough to intercept the shipment before the cavalry meets it? Well, it shouldn't be much farther than south here by now. Red Butte's on east. And no more dirty tactics, Braddock, like the last time. This is a war, not a border massacre. We'll follow you. All right, men, mount up. Gone, but there's nothing wrong with the spy ring. There's your gold. All right, Braddock, let's get it.
Jeff. There can be no doubt that the Confederates are organized at Oro Grande. This telegram I received from Colonel Sewell just before you arrived shows you what we're up against. Well, they got away with another gold shipment, but uh, Colonel Sewell says here he's taken a wounded prisoner. That man may talk. I hope so. Because this is the only other lead. The German gold mark, the English sovereign. George III and Frederick the Great. Notice the dates. Both 1752. I saw that. And where did these come from? The mark was found in the money of the man who tried to murder you. The English sovereign was found on a murdered Wells Fargo agent at Oro Grande. There's some connection then. I'll take these if you don't mind, sir. Not just the one. I promise to return this to Wells Fargo. Now remember, Steve, every man I've sent to Oro Grande has disappeared. I beg your pardon. I should have looked where I was going. That's quite all right, ma'am. Uh, haven't we met somewhere before? No, I don't think so. Yes, yes, I remember. It was in Washington. You're Mr... Uh, Mr... Mason. Charles Mason. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's not the name. You'll pardon me, won't you? Not until you tell me who you are. <laughs> I'm Trina Desaad. Very pretty name. Believe me, I won't forget it. Thank you. The man calling himself Charles Mason is Captain Steve Clark. You're sure of that, Trina? Just as sure as I am that you're Alex Morell. Oh, boy. Paper, please. Yes, sir. The man you just saw me speaking to in the other car. Yes, ma'am. I wonder if Washington suspects that it's not really the Confederates who are stealing the Union gold. Of course not. They believe that Braddock and the Raiders are true Confederates, like Captain Randolph. And he hasn't the slightest suspicion that we are hiding behind him. I know. It doesn't seem possible Washington could trace us. But a man like Captain Clark is... Ah. That is why, my dear, the good Captain must never reach Oro Grande. The man who was just talking to the lady. Pardon the intrusion, sir, but I've got to speak to you. I've seen you around Washington, and I know your reputation. The young lady just made the same mistake. Who do you think I am? Let me put it this way. Your name isn't Mason. I'm worried, sir. The last car is carrying special army supplies. It is. Uh, you're guarding it, I suppose. Yes. And there's some people on the train I don't like the looks of. I want your advice. <laughs> is that all you want? Well, would you mind examining the car with me? There's something you ought to see. All right. Who is he? I don't know. 
He doesn't seem to be with Captain Clark. Perhaps not. We can't afford to take any chances. I'm afraid, my dear, the coupling on the last car is just broken. 